my favorites, but we're gonna go in. So they have a giant outdoor section. Huge outdoor section. Tons of trees. We're gonna go inside. We'll take you down this way. literally huge here. You can see all the pottery straight ahead. More plants. Trees. And we're gonna go inside. Huge outdoor area that's over there. This is where all our terracotta is. Outside. And then like all the fun little stuff out here too. getting one of these little ficus ginsengs. How cute are these? <laughs> this one. They're so cute. So pretty and they're only 20. Or I can do a benching uh, that's variegated. They're starting to get more Hoya. Got a Carrii. Nice staghorn, some riprack. Tons of carnivorous plants. I just got one of those the other day, they're so cool. I just got back in the car from Green Acres. I got this little cutie. This guy was $7.50. It's a Pachira Aquatica. It was like where the little um, terrarium plants were, but I thought Chris would like this because it looks like a weed plant. So <laughs> I thought he would enjoy. And then I got a Calathea uh, Ornata. Yes, Ornata. They had a beauty star or this, and I love the pink stripes on this. So I decided to get this to go into this cute little pot that I found that's like pink and gray. And I'm probably going to put this um, in my room somewhere just because these don't like a ton of light, but they like to be a little bit wetter too. So I'm excited. Now I'm going to go to my mom's and drop off a couple of boxes that I ordered for her from Sephora since we didn't have the things in store. And to CVS, because I got to get necessities for being a female. Q-tips, you know, cotton wipes, tampons, all the fun stuff. And then we're going to do a tour of the plants. So get ready. All right, we're going to do a little video of all the plants. Ignore this dirt on the wall. I don't know what that is. But... All of our plants on our little TV stand. These are all my like little propagations besides this guy. Uh, everything else, well, and that is not a propagation. But this, 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 <laughs> these. Um, a little peperomia frost in the back there. My maranta that's not looking great, but it's still growing. Some little snake plant propagations, an aluminum plant, a pilea. 
snake plant, or I mean snake plant, spider plant, jeez. A regular little Hartley philodendron. It came off my big plant that's over here in the corner. It was like all lengthy at the bottom, so I took off some cuttings. I've got my micans over here growing. This is the one I just got today. So cute. It's a something aquatica, Pachira aquatica. I really like that one too. My little nanook. I think this is the lavender or the lilac. Um, not the real nanook, but I'm not sure. A little begonia um, tiger's eye or tiger something. My rattlesnake calathea. I've got another propagation of a marble queen back here. It's got some really pretty leaves it's putting out. And then a little, um, oh my God, it's Sansevieria, but what is it called? Why can I not think? Samurai, right? Yes. <laughs> my Vitata, that's not looking great on the edges, but that's okay. She's putting out new leaves, so she's getting healthier. Like you can see, this one's not so bad. And then I've got my Domino Peace Lily right here. This one's super special. Harley has the other one that I got at um, Green Acres. A lot of my plants are from Green Acres, where I went today, so at the beginning of the video that I showed you. And then the other ones are all kind of either from friends online or Etsy, pretty much. Um, I've got my Neon Pothos. This is from a friend online as well. Or Neon Philodendron, sorry. My Pothos is in my room. This is the Philodendron. Bromeliad, my little regular Monstera. She's putting out some new leaves, too. These guys are all the older, or the newest leaves. The ones on top right here. This is my Alocasia Sumo, which doesn't look great, but like the two new leaves it's put out are huge and doing it beautifully. This one's stunning. It's freaking, it's so big, but so cool. I just got this light that has like four little things coming off of it. So one obviously for these guys and then this for this dark corner over here, because this is really dark as well. I bought a second one of these from Amazon. So I might set it up like on that corner and have it pointing this way so that these guys get light too. These normally do fine during the afternoon. They get some sun, but a lot of other stuff isn't getting enough light. So I've got my humidifier right here. All my little plants that need more humidity as well. So my brandiantum philodendron I put out this wonky leaf just now. This one was beautiful that it put out, but the other one doesn't look great. Now it has another one coming in. So look at that new growth. Um, my Calathea White Fusion, that looks like shit too, but look at this. She's got so many new leaves coming in. So she's obviously liking the Leca. It's a little dirty in there, but I gotta change that tonight too. It's been a week or two. She's growing. My little Monstera Siltipicana is also having some new growth. I put out two new leaves and then it's got a new one coming in. She's preggers. My Lucidia has put out a new leaf. You can see like a new leaf coming in too, right there. It's hard to see with this thing in the way, but. And then this little Syngonium, oh my God, has two leaves coming in. So that one's doing well. I've got my whole shelf here. I'm gonna go through, I think the hanging ones first. So regular philodendron, obviously. My staghorn that's so fucking sad. Uh, I want to put that on. I like, I want to mount it. I want to put it on a piece of wood somewhere and put it on this wall. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, my exotica that's starting to finally grow. And then I've got a pubicalyx right here. Or pubicalyx, however you say it. This is really hard to see in this lighting. But she's doing crazy. She's like loving life over here. And then my Adansonii, and I have a Crinkle 8 that needs to be watered. And then, and thank you, Marshall, for hooking it up with that one. You showed me that because you didn't have it. And this, he hooked me up with both of these. This guy was only $9.50 at Green Acres. I was so surprised because the last one I bought was like 40 bucks or something, and it died of Mosaica. So that's cool. Um, my Rick Rack, that's not doing great, but doing great. Like, I don't understand what the hell happened to this because it lost so much moisture, but like all of that is new that's up top. Like all of these are brand new and they're thick and they're loving life. So who knows? Um, and then I have my shelf and my other little 
table. So this one has another alocasia on it. I don't know what this is. So if anybody knows, please tell me in the comments below because I really don't know. Um, it is putting out a new leaf right there. And then it's got like little babies on the bottom. This looks like shit. I cut it up and I put it in my thing. This is my little um, try to scan Tia Nanook cutting from my friend Cheryl. Oh my God, this leaf's so bad. But I cut off because like the top of it was like this long and it was like curling down. So I cut it off and propagated it in my prop box. And then I've got my little variegated um, African violet. I just watered this guy because it was curling. It needed some. This is my regular, um, not, it's not silvery ant. I think it's just the regular Ageris. Um, what do you call it? Pothos, a satin pothos, basically. I can't think of names right now. Um, my little peperomia that's not doing great. This one looks better over here, which they're propagated from the same plant. So uh, I've got my narrow leaf philodendron, which is loving life in this new pot that I put it in. She's got a whole bunch of new growth coming out, tons of it. But this top leaf is like, crazy. And then I've got my little Retusa. This was in water for so long. And then I decided to put her in this cute little pot I found at Green Acres too. I just love the, like, it's, you can't see. It's just polka dotted. It's so cute, but she's growing now. She's got a lot of new growth right here and a lot of new growth right here. So she's doing better. Got both my orchids, this little guy and this one over here that are doing well. This was a cutting from a friend. This is from my friend Angeline. It's got new growth coming in right there. You can kind of see it. It's like right here on the stem. It's so hard to see if I can zoom in maybe. There we go. So a little new growth right there. And this of course hasn't grown at all. I don't, I kind of regret buying this one, honestly, the Curie, because it was just a single thing. I just loved how it looked like a heart, but whatever. My little Christmas cactus is doing good. And then I've got some cuttings on the shelf. So this was a cutting of this that I put in dirt recently because it had tons of roots, but it really hasn't done anything yet. So I feel like I need to change the soil in it. I gave it kind of like an airy mixture-ish, but whatever. I don't know. This one has a lot more orchid bark in it and it's doing really well. Same with this one is doing pretty good. I just watered everything yesterday too. I've got a little baby string of hearts propagation over here that I might give away as a present because I know a few people who really want that. And I've got a few more in water right here too. So these little guys, I got little shot glasses at um, Goodwill and then just use these for little propagations. This one's super cute. It's growing new little leaves, tons of new little leaves. And then these little satin pothos uh, cuttings are doing super well too. And I have my little Curtisii cuttings that are growing some crazy roots. I probably need to pot these now. They've been in water for weeks at this point. Um, my Macrophylla is doing really well too. There's some new growth coming in on this little stem right here. And I think on top of this one too, I just can't get back there. And my Crimson Queen, who, this is like my obsession plant. I'm obsessed with her. She's got a ton of new growth too. Little leaves here. There's some little ones right here you can see coming in. They're everywhere. And then there's some really pink ones. I just love them. They're so cute. Oh, she got dirt on her leaf. And then I have my Orbifolia. That one's also growing. It's vining right now. Next shelf, I've got two different Bertinet, I think. Both of these. One from Harley, one from Ashley. <laughs> this is my Linearis, which also I have another really long one. These were like little cuttings that my friend gave me with the other one that I bought from her. She's so sweet. Well, Angeline. She gave me that other cutting of the Puba Calyx too. But, um... That I potted up. I have another one on the shelf you'll see. And then I've got a little Raphidophora cutting over here from my plant that's not doing great, that hasn't been growing, that I think has a virus or something going on with it. I gotta figure it out. But this one's doing really well. Then I've got my little princess um, Hoya in the back over here. Get her variegation on those leaves. 
Don't mind the dirty shelves. She's also got some new leaves coming in. My little peperomia, my dashidia, million hearts, variegated is growing too. Look at all that little new growth right there. It's so cute. This one hasn't grown much either, but she's finally, um, oh yeah, she might be putting out some new growth. Oh yes, she is. Look at, oh my God, right there. Right there. Thanks, Harley. <laughs> this one is from Harley. This one's super cute. I love how fuzzy they are. Okay, and then on the bottom, all of my succulents and aloe, and then of course little propagations too. That leaf is so blown out from the light. This is just the regular heteracium cordatum or whatever. So it's the heart-shaped philodendron. I can't talk. I've got a couple Haworthia, some cactus, just some random, random succulents left. These are the other ones that I'm kind of trying to kill, honestly. I love that Apuntia, but I hate repotting cactus because I always end up with thorns everywhere. So these are my little shelves. This is my little haven over here. And then I'm gonna get up and turn around so I can show you guys over here, the other shelves. This is gonna be a little bit harder. I'm gonna try and zoom you in. So. I've got my regular Zabrina, another little cutting of a Marble Pothos, Dracaena, I can't remember the name. It's not Lemon Lime. I don't know what that one is, but I loved it. It was like white and green. And then my String of Hearts is growing like crazy. I propagated her a few times. My Polly's not doing great, but that's okay. I've got another um, little propagation of Golden Pothos or marble pothos, geez, and a snake plant. That I think is a regular carnosa um, hoya that's up here with my little air plant too, but I'm not sure. It's also putting off a ton of like runners and then some new leaves. I've got a Brazilian philodendron. This is probably my favorite philodendron, honestly, besides Mykins, just because of the variegation on these leaves. Like they're stunning. And then I cut it recently and it's got some new growth right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna like. It's not gonna, oh, of course. So it's got a bunch of new growth. There's two little growth points right there coming in too because I propagated it, but they didn't do well, but they're at least growing, so that's good. I've got my Carnosa Compacta up there. This is my other Linearis, which is like, Grand like crazy, it's just not getting enough sun, so I think I'm gonna move it closer to the window. I've got my Orbifolia that's growing like crazy too. My Golden Pothos. So this is the golden, I have a Marble Queen. This is my golden one. That leaf is like everything. But this is the one that Chris got me, so cute. He brought this home one day for me. I love her, she's so cute. Can't wait for her to get like big lush. All right, and then my ZZ plant that's finally growing too. Look at that tall, <laughs> that one little thing that came out with like a bunch of leaves on it that just came out. Ponytail palm and then my Pothos Enjoy, which I can't wait for it to get long either. It's gonna take forever. I just got this today. So this is an Ornata, Calathea Ornata. I got this cute little pot with her today. You'll see it in the video, I'm sure at the beginning from Green Acres. This was also from Green Acres. It was labeled as a green Maranta, but she got hella variegation on her. So pretty. Sorry, my camera is obviously not focusing. And there we go. It's so pretty, oh my God, except for this leaf. But I'm waiting for her to fall off. <laughs> And then I'm gonna show you guys some of the other plants I have in my room. Um, whoa, so blurry. Um, but I think I'll just bring them out here. Of course, is in there watching TV, so. Look at all these trees. Right, I'm doing an outro really quickly, but I'm not gonna do a plant tour of the room today. I will do that on Sunday with a propagation tour for you guys. So those two will be together on the same video. This is just gonna be my outro for this one first video I've done. They will get better eventually with time. I'm super awkward. I'm sorry. And I know earlier I messed up a bunch of names of plants because I was nervous. So 
I know it wasn't an orbifolia, it's a Hoya obovata, but whatever. Okay. This is the first one. They will get better with time. I promise. <laughs> Bye guys.